with veggies. It didn't contain an ounce of chicken in it because it's a, it's a vegan um, dish. And we also had the carrot cake along with some tea. So we had a nice hearty early dinner. Now we're at Sephora, we're at the Westfield Topanga Mall. And we're just kind of checking out what's new at Sephora. about 10 30. I've been home the past hour just kind of hung out with the family and stuff but I didn't get to properly kind of vlog earlier when I dropped off Lexi but you know I just wanted to say that I absolutely love Lexi she is one of my really good friends and um, you know, I always just have such a fun time whenever I hang out with her and you know, I feel like really comfortable when I hang out with Lexi. I'm not sure if I completely vlogged it when I was at Sephora, but Veggie Grill is delicious. That um, Santa Fe chicken sandwich I had earlier with sweet potato fries, if you didn't tell me that that wasn't actual chicken, I would have never known the difference. It was that good. And the carrot cake. Now I'm not a fan of the norm, like the typical carrot cake, but this one was actually really good. And I ate the icing and all that. I know Lexi was saying that the icing can be like a little bit sweet for her, so um, she just eats the carrot cake. She just eats the carrot cake itself, but I ate the whole thing. It's a fun day. It was it's just always a lot of fun hanging out with Lexi. And right now I am going to work out. I'm going to try to make an effort to get back on the wagon because I haven't been working out since well I worked out once since we came back from vacation but I really have to just kind of stick to it now and you know really try to get back into shape. So this is what I do when I get home. I watch this Filipino telenovela called Dolce, Dolce Amore. Darren got me hooked to it. So let me know if you guys, any of you Filipinos, um, are watching this telenovela. Ooh, look what my mom brought home. She brought home some Costco pizza. Good morning, happy Saturday. Oof, I look like I completely didn't take off my um, eyeliner. Anyway, happy Saturday. Uh, it's going to be a very productive Saturday. So I'm like halfway through the laundry right now. And I'm catching up with um, vlogs, watching. Um, right now I'm actually catching up with Kathy of IJK, IJK Fam TV. I am about like two weeks behind on her vlog, so I'm catching up while I'm putting things away. Finally moved on to something else. I'm currently putting together a goodie package for a friend. I've had this stuff for a while now and I'm going to be mailing this out to her hopefully sometime this week. This is definitely like seven months overdue. These are just some things that I've collected. I've set aside for her and I just thought, you know, she would um, get use out of them. So uh, 
Sharon, if you're watching this package, we'll be making it over to you sometime this week. It is now almost 10 o'clock. I just finished filming my June Obsessions. Honestly, it took me a lot longer to film than I thought it would. It just took me forever to get ready and then to prepare. And then when I was filming, let's not even go there. It just took me such a long time to film it. Hi, thank you. Thank you. They 15, 29. We're at Did they raise their prices? Yeah, why is it that much? From McDonald's, we didn't even order that many things. Well, at least I don't think we did. I think it's the frappe that made it expensive. Oh sh! Where's my debit card? Uh oh. You guys, I could not find my debit card, and my husband didn't even tell me he had my debit card. I was freaking out because I thought I lost it. Oh yes, we got our frappes. What is that? A McFlurry. Darren got ice cream and hash browns. It's about 2.22 in the morning and I'm editing tomorrow's video, which is June Obsessions. I'm about to download a video, one of my vlogs from our New York trip and I was thinking about it. I was like, you know what? I should kind of just re-watch all of the vlogs because that's just how much I miss New York like you know I just want to reminisce and just watch the vlogs because it just takes me back to a couple weeks ago when we were there and it was just so surreal the vibe is like insanely different from here absolutely just loved it so much happy Sunday have not had a chance to really vlog the car that drive shop USA dropped off this uh, week and this is the 2017 Mitsubishi Mirage G4. I believe the color of this car is called wine if I'm not mistaken. Also has the keyless entry which is nice so you just push it. Ooh, it is hot in the car. Um, so it is a five seater. As you guys can see, I believe the seats of the car are, they're, they're not leather, but it's like a fabric type, fabric type of material. The push start is on the left side. It has, of course, the Bluetooth. It's Bluetooth compatible, which is always a nice feature. You are also able to control the sound of, uh, say, your music and also change the radio stations as well as the music that you are playing. The USB plug is actually located in the glove compartment. It has some pretty cool features which I haven't seen before in another car. I believe this is iPhone compatible as well as Samsung compatible. If you go ahead and hit Apple CarPlay and again your phone is connected via the uh, charging cable. You're able to then access everything that you basically see on your phone which is pretty cool. So you're able to see here say like my contacts, use the voice command and speak whoever you would like to call, which we're not going to do that. Um, oh, here we go. So it gives you a list of the people that I last called or my most recent, my favorite history, also my recent, um, my contacts. And you press this button to go back, which is kind of like the main menu. You're then also able to access your music, which is another really awesome feature. So you're able to see like your playlist for instance or your albums, all the albums that you have and it's all touch screen. You also have here Surrey which is pretty cool so you're able to then add your destination. So everything's basically, it's like a screen then for your mobile device. You're able to also listen and view your messages which is another Would really... Would like to hear your unread messages or create a new one? No. <laughs> So you're able to also listen to your messages. Hang on a second. This is my cousin along. See what she said. What she said. Sorry to maybe 7 p.m. Just go shop first for your smile. You want to reply? Okay. I didn't like it that. Yes. What do you want to say to Butches? Okay, sounds good. You're replying. Okay, sounds good. Ready to send it? Yes. No. 
Mm. You're also able to listen to any audiobooks, podcasts, and then this is like the main menu, the main screen for everything. And what is this one? This is, just shows the music that you're playing. So this is a really, really cool feature, a cool function that you know we've never seen before. And it's such a genius idea. It really just kind of makes your car more interactive. So it does have the reverse backup camera, as you guys can see there. I was supposed to go meet my cousin-in-law right now. We were supposed to meet up at the mall and then hang out the rest of the afternoon. But I guess, you know, she's um, still occupied. So I think I'm gonna go back inside the house because it is so super hot. And I'm gonna film. It's a Sunday afternoon cousin-in-law didn't go through so I'm just with the hubs and Darren and we're just gonna I think we're just gonna like drive around and chill I mean it's nice outside and I think we're just gonna get something to eat and you know just have some quality time together it's made up of smaller pieces that show you all the separate parts of the We are home now. I really don't have very much footage from Malibu. There was just so much traffic on the way to the Malibu Pier. Darren felt car sick, so we just turned around and went home. But on the way home, we were talking about what we're planning to do for the 4th of July holiday tomorrow. And I honestly wanted to go to the beach, relax and chill, you know, and watch the fireworks at night. But I kind of told my husband, you know what, let's make sangria or watermelon soju do you guys remember that from the new york vlogs it looks like a watermelon but it's got alcohol it's a korean drink so i think we're going to make that tomorrow and that's like the only only way how we can possibly avoid the beach is if we make some alcoholic beverage so yeah and then tomorrow i can't even really edit because tomorrow is supposed to be like a family day so i'm gonna have to do that tonight and we're just gonna kind of chill relax and watch red box movies tomorrow right honey right yeah. see he said sure actually a little bit late opening my june play box from sephora i was planning on canceling it and then i looked at my bank account it actually charged me the ten dollars so i'm going to be getting the july box i think i told you guys last month that i wasn't really happy with the may play box from sephora but let's see what items i got for the june play box use this pass when you're purchasing an item online or I think in store, you earn 50 extra beauty insider points. Here is the play bag. Utilize the little drawstring bag. This is the play bag from last month, which says let's beauty together. And what I place in here, oh my gosh, it's dirty. I place my vlogging camera in here. So it's just a nice little bag, which I'm going to have to wash. And I'm going to switch it out with this one. So let's see what goodies we received. Bare Minerals Bare Skin Sheer Sun. It's a serum bronzer. It is a, it looks like a 100 point perk type of thing. I'm not going to complain about it because... It looks like a nice kind of bronzy color. It doesn't look like it's orange. So, okay, yeah, this item I can say I'm pleased with. Ooh, this one's good. This is the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. Literally applied way too much of that product, but wow, that is gorgeous. This is the Tarte Guard SPF 30. I am a fan of this. This is a 100 point perk. So I am going to say I am happy with this product. It's something that I will definitely utilize. Bumble and Bumble, BB, don't blow it. Uh, what is this? Hair styler? Mm, we'll definitely have to try this out. Very Real by Benefit Mascara, which I am also a fan of. So this is good. And this is the Toka perfume, I think. Where is it? Yes, this is the Toka Florence perfume not too fond of these little tiny perfume samples but yeah that's everything in the bag all in all i'm going to say that i'm happy with the one two three four five items in the bag this one i could just definitely do without for ten dollars i'm gonna say i am happy with the items that i received this month this definitely did make up for last month's bag it's almost midnight and i wanted to make sure that i properly ended this week's vlog i'm actually about to do the 21 day fix workout i'm on day eight 
I wanted to do tomorrow's workout now because tomorrow we are consuming some alcohol and I highly doubt that I am going to be working out tomorrow. Really wanted to thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch our weekly vlogs. Just so blown away with everybody's sweet comments and just the amount of love that you guys have shown us. I do appreciate all of the feedback. Hope you guys had an amazing weekend. Stay safe for the 4th of July holiday and yeah, we will see you guys next week. Good night. Mm -hmm.